Hello friends, Sam here at Rand McNally and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Rand McNally Dock. The Rand McNally Dock is where you can register your device, download construction and software updates, export state mileage, view the TND manual, upload any Telrands, and access any announcements from Rand McNally. Let's check it out. Alright, here it is folks, the Rand McNally Dock software. To get the Dock software, First, plug your device in with the USB cable we provided in the box. Then, visit the Ram McNally website and choose either the PC or Mac version to ensure you download the correct software. Keep in mind, folks, the install process may take up to 30 minutes as we do a complete backup of the device. After successfully installing the dock, there is a short unit registration process. Once that is completed, it will take you to this screen which is the main menu for the Rand McNally dock. First of all, let's take a look here at the top. We've got a globe, a computer, and a device. You're going to want to take a look at this and make sure that those bars are green because that's going to show you that one, you're connected to the internet and also that your device is connected to your computer. A little bit further over to the right, you've got software version, dock version, and your serial number. And right below that, your registered user information. And you can click on that if at any time you need to change your personal information. Here's the update available button. If this button is green and active, like it is here, it means there's an update available for your device. If it's grayed out, then you're up to date. Custom POI or add your own POI. This button will allow you to add points of interest of your own or from a third party vendor such as POIFactory.com. Examples include red light cameras, railroad, or your own list of company fuel stops. If you need some help with that or additional information, you can click on the POI Factory icon. Telrand. We do cover this in another video, so if you need some more information on Telrand, you can go check out the Telrand video. This button will show you all Telrands saved on your device. You can edit or add remarks prior to sending to Rand McNally, or even create your own. We've got some saved here, and I could edit those if I need to before I send them off. The mileage button is used to export your state mileage from the device to a spreadsheet for IFTA preparation. Simply hit the button, give the file a name, and save. Now all the mileage information on your device is on your PC or Mac. Let's check out the tools menu here. From the tools menu, you can change the display language, turn on or off auto start. Now what auto start is, is anytime your computer restarts, if you have this on, the dock will also uh, will open or restart as well. Release notes. Now what this is, is this is just a list of all the updates that have been made in the last software update. Let's check out the maintenance section. The, uh, the send logs button. Sending your logs will send Ram McNally a copy of the device and diagnostic logs. This is used for troubleshooting purposes and is not connected to the mileage log or driver status log feature on the device. This data cannot be exported to any third parties. It's your personal information, folks. You can also back up your device and restore your device. There's also the Diagnostics and Repair button. Uh, should you think you're experiencing any issues with your device, the Diagnostic and Repair will run a check to make sure your device is working properly. In addition to this, you can also contact customer support with any questions or concerns. And that's the Tools menu. Also, here on the main screen, the screen of the dock, you can download the manual. You can also visit our support website, which includes FAQs and some how-tos uh, for the device or visit the Rand McNally store should you want to choose to purchase some additional accessories for your device. And also the announcements button. Now what this is going to do is it's just going to tell you any recent announcements. If there's a new dock download, if there's a new software update, anything like that. That's about it folks. It looks like we do have an update available so let's go ahead and click it and get updated. And that's how to access and use all the features on the Rand McNally dock.